Hello, 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 everyone. Okay, you can see my sparkles are at a crazy all-time high right now. And you can see I have some writing on my hand because that's what it's come to at this point <laughs> with me trying to keep my head on straight. So first, I'm just doing a really quick video in my car, actually, because... Um, I have not had a break in, um, yeah, since I went back to work. And I want to apologize to you guys. Hold on. Let me see if I can turn this around real quick. Will that will it let me? Hold on. I don't think it's going to let me flip this. Okay, it's not going to let me flip it. So I was going to say you could see my face for a second, but it's not going to let me flip it. So um, I guess we'll just do my hand then, like I usually do. So you can see my sparkles while I'm doing this. So let me apologize first. I feel like I've abandoned you guys a little bit and it's not, it's not by choice, you guys. It's not by choice. I swear to God. So uh, let me do this as quickly as possible because I'm like in my car at lunch because I literally haven't had a chance to even sit down. Um, like literally, I just got home from work last night. I've been working 12 hour days pretty much and that does not even count getting ready time. So that's like 14 hours with commute and getting ready. Um... And it's just been insane. Like, I didn't know I was going to start back full time. And it's been crazy. Like I said, the one girl who went on vacation, I should have a gal who's backing me up. And then she got in a car accident. So she's been out of the office most of the time I've been there. Um, or she's got appointments or, you know, it's always something. But my point is, yeah, it's just been really, really crazy. So I am so sorry, you guys. I have so much I want to talk to you guys about. I have so much that we need to discuss. I want to go over Isetti. He said he was, I was, I could only be there for a few hours on Saturday night, but it was fantastic. It was totally crazy. It was totally fantastic. I was so excited to see so many of you guys up close and in person, get a hug with Shane from Unbiased. That was awesome. Um, see how my light's changing? I don't know why it's doing I don't know why it's doing that. Um, but yeah, Shane from Unbiased and On the Fence, I got to like hug, that was so cool. Um, and then I got to see, oh, so many people, not so fancy, Nancy, Kate, hi Kate, I'm so excited to see you. Um, Michelle from Michelle's Opinions and Michelle Wolf from Imagination Warrior, Allison Co, Frank from Cali, there were just so many really, really cool people that I got to meet, and that's only some of the names, so um, I'm sorry if I, I got to hug you and meet you, and I didn't get a chance to uh, mention your name right now, but yeah, I just wanted to say I, I love each and every one of you. It was such a wonderful experience, and I have a, a much longer video that I'll be coming out with uh, going over like the whole trip, how many synchronicities were involved, because this is what I want to tell you guys. Nothing about that trip was an accident. It was all divinely planned. It was all divinely orchestrated. Let me wipe my hand off. It's a little sweaty. Like I said, I'm in my car. It was all divinely orchestrated. In fact, so my guy's a car guy, and we had no idea that the one day or two days out of the year, they have the biggest car show almost. Well, not the biggest, but a very large car show on the West Coast. It's called uh, the Cruise Through the Gorge or the Neon Drive. Uh, so check that out, you guys. So cool. But it happened to be on the exact same weekend, and we didn't even know. So it was like how synchronistic was that? My guy got to do something that he really wanted to do, which just lit his little soul up. And then I got to, you know, be with my people and do what I wanted to do. And then he got to be introduced to my stuff in a different way. I think it was really beautiful and validating for him uh, to see, yeah, I wouldn't affect that my work actually has on people. And that was one of the coolest things I got out of it because, you know, I put my videos up and and I hope that it helps people. You know, I, I hope it does. I don't know what the after effects are sometimes unless you guys tell me, you know, that it specifically helped you. I don't know if, you know, sometimes people see my stuff and they're like, oh, crazy lady. <laughs> Get a lot of that in the beginning. Everybody's starting to clue on that this is happening, but it's taking a while, obviously. Um, and I, just so you guys know, have zero magnification on just using the flash in my camera. For those of you who are new to my channel, uh, what I am showing is what we call the crystalline DNA activation or the light body integration process. Uh, it's called the Merkaba. Um, you could say armor of God, their rainbow body, light body. There are so many different terms for this based upon your beliefs and your perceptions. Uh, but I term it as the crystalline DNA. And you can all see if this is happening to you very easily. I tell people all the time it does start within the body. 
very microscopically and sporadically. Sorry, my hands are shaking. I don't normally drink a lot of caffeine, but because of my work schedule lately, uh, I actually had like a, a mocha today. So my hands are all like, <laughs> so I'm so sorry. But um, yeah, what I show is that it's a very physical process it actually happens to the physical body. Uh, it's beyond just a, uh, you could say, consciousness evolution. So I show you guys how you can see if it's happening to you as well. I'm just wiping, wiping my hands off on my pants. Um, and so what you need in the beginning, because it starts out microscopically and sporadically because it comes down from the pineal gland. Usually you can see it in the face and the palms of the hands first. Like I said, sorry, I note written on my hand <laughs> so i didn't have any paper at the time and i was working i had four phone lines going at the same time um so uh, but what yeah usually it starts microscopically and sporadically generally you'll just see a sheen initially like kind of like a, a, a shine to your skin you won't see these individual fractals uh, is what i call them or you could say sparkles that's what most people call them i call them crystalline fractals you won't see those individually uh until you get much further along in the process usually so what you will see is just like a sheen that's overall and then once uh, the process becomes more and more integrated throughout the body then you'll start to see it branch out to the arms and legs and stomach and, and all that stuff so in the beginning i had to have an app that was plus 16 in magnification to see this now i don't have any magnification on it at all uh, and you can see how large these sparkles are and what i also wanted to say though is that um being at my job and being uh, physically in these other people's energy fields, I've noticed that my sparkles are just at an all time high, that this kicks off my process in a much more um, very intensive way. And ever since we went on our trip, they've just been, I mean, usually I need a flash on to see them or so some sort of light source. Uh, I don't even need that at this point. Like we were on our trip and it'd be in the complete dark. And I, even at work, I'm under no lights uh, to some degree. And I just see these pops like all the time now. It's so insane. So even at night, there's some pops that are happening yeah, in the dark. Um, I have showed you guys that on video how I do have actual little pops of light that will come off of me in the pitch black. So I actually have proved that as well. But my point is they're so much more intense now. So what happens when we magnify just a little bit? I'm gonna take it up to, well, this is a four. So this is as high as my phone will go in magnification. Uh, right now but yeah you can see there's just millions and that's why it's really hard for the light to focus because there's so many different pinpoints of light it's very very difficult for the camera to go you know what am I looking at like right sorry the handwriting on my hand sorry tried to get it off before I did this video so that all being said um, you'll notice that it even embeds in the fingernails see how it's like even in the I don't have any nail polish on at all but it even will embed in within your fingernails and I think your teeth too um, at this point so it will literally be in every part of your system all of your you know every even your major organs because it changes the bodily fluids within your actual body so let's take it back out to like a 2.4 okay so I just wanted to go over a couple things really quick like I said there's so much to tell you guys and I just don't have time to do it all right now we're gonna take it all the way back out because otherwise it's too hard to see for me oh my phone's gonna be difficult hold on okay so uh, Isetti was lovely. We wanted to get there Friday night. Unfortunately, we couldn't uh, get, we did get in Friday night, but it was late. And then they actually issued a warning to get off the roads because they were afraid of flash flooding because there was a giant lightning storm. There's a whole story about that, which again, led into these amazing synchronicities. You guys would never, I mean, I can't wait to do a video for you guys to tell you all about it. I'm gonna try and get one out tonight, but honestly, after 14 hour days, and then I'm still a single mom, um, oh, and to top it all off, so a lot of you guys know who follow my work that I take in kids that are troubled or homeless sometimes. I have an extra one right now that is kind of probably permanently mine. I'd had him for several years. I think he was homeless for the first time at like 11, so I had him for a couple of years. He tried to work it out with his mom. That didn't work out very well, so he's back with me now. And uh, on my first day of vacation, I got a, a, a message from another child I'd taken care of for about a year when he was nine. And he just got removed from his home uh, by CPS because he'd been abused again. Don't make me cry. I'm going to cry. I get so uh, upset at these parents who have these children and they, they can't, they don't take care of them properly. You know what I mean? It just makes me, or they hurt them. I just, oh, don't even get me started. So anyways, I came home from vacation and he's with me again now too. So now I have four children. 
two of which that are not mine. And just to be clear, I don't get paid anything from the state. I'm not like a foster parent. Um, yeah, I don't get paid anything extra to take care of these kids. So it's good thing I had got a job again because I don't know, I'm probably gonna have to work three jobs now just to take care and feed all these kids. So I actually might start um, some sort of a GoFundMe. I'm not sure we need beds. I'm gonna have to buy a couple new beds now. I think I'm just gonna have a barracks situation going on. I don't know, I don't even know. I just tell people now I'll just be the little lady who lived in a shoe with kids in cupboards and drawers. You know what I mean? I don't know where I'll put them. I'll just, we'll put them somewhere. You know, at least I know with me they're safe and that I can sleep at night knowing they're fed and they're safe and we'll just figure it out, right? I just got some new couches uh, that ironically came in through synchronicity once again, once again that I didn't have to buy. So that worked out great too. That all being said, yeah, we there was this crazy car show that worked out perfectly. So like I said, it made my guys soul sing. I got to go to Iseti for a few hours, at least on Saturday and say hello and meet some people. I really wanted to stay longer, but we had such a limited amount of time to get to another state and get back. I only had about three days um, and we had so much we had to do. So it just wasn't enough time. I really wanted to stay and not come back if it was up to me. And, um, oh yeah, and I even got, you might be noticing the new ring, my guy in his beautiful romantic way uh, at the last day we were leaving and pulling out of town. Uh, he wanted to exchange rings in the parking lot of the diner that we were eating in. <laughs> most people would not think that was the rom most romantic thing ever, but for us, it was a big deal. You know what I mean? It was, it was a big deal. So he picked out uh, two rings that were exactly alike and put one on my finger. So... Yeah, we're not married, but you know, it's like a promise ring, I guess. After six years, you get a promise ring. <laughs> Congratulations to me. <laughs> but you know, for us, it was perfect. And uh, you know, everything happened is my point. Everything happened synchronistically the way that it was supposed to. As he said, we could not have written a better trip if we had like wrote it ourselves everything that we wanted. It was just perfect. The first night hotel stay was a little sketchy. There's actually blood on the floor and no heat, and it was stuck on air conditioning that first night. I actually have a video that I might release afterwards, but I didn't want to release a, kind of a negative vibrational pattern video. I wanted to at least show you guys a, a more positive outlook than that, because I was really frustrated when I took that video. Um, but, you know, like I said, it led us to everywhere else on our trip, and the rest of our trip was amazing. The room that we had uh, for the other two nights with the SETI was just beautiful. We stayed about an hour off-site over in the Dalles, uh, overlooking the, uh, the dam. And it was just, I mean, everything couldn't have been better. It really couldn't have. So there's so much more I want to talk to you guys about. I know that everybody's getting hit hard with these activation packets right now. Most people are having really increased acceleration of the crystalline DNA uh, symptoms that a lot of people will feel with the integration process. So there are three parts to the ascension process. There's the initiation phase, the uh, absorption phase, and the integration phase. So a lot of people right now are getting really heavily, heavily activated. So they're getting much more intensive symptoms, a lot of dizziness, a lot of uh, joint pain, back pain, flu-like symptoms. Uh, a lot of people might be starting that coughing up phase where you feel like you have a cold or the flu and you start coughing up a lot of stuff. A lot of people are having ringing in the ears at accelerated rates. And what we're seeing is a lot of the 3D collective or people that might not have been in what we would call a higher consciousness state of mind starting to become really aware of the physical symptoms associated with this. And it's leading to a lot of confusion because they're of course going to their medical doctors and saying, why am I sick? And their medical doctor is not going to be able to help them with this. You know what I mean? So just be very kind and patient to those around you. And if you know somebody who's going through some really crazy symptoms and they don't understand what's happening, start them off in the process by saying, hey, do you shine in the sunlight like a vampire from twilight? Give them that opening. And then if they say yes, then you can maybe give them a little bit of a seed planted about what this process actually is so that they have some sort of reference for when their doctor says your tests come out fine and you're fine, and but they still feel icky. You know what I mean? Because they're clearing the energy. We all have to. So just expect that those around you might be struggling a lot also mentally uh, as well, because a lot of people are having these cycles come up for completion. The Lion's Gate portal is a huge one and we have this full moon coming in on the back of it. So since that 7-2 portal, 
the veils are pretty much down. So you know what I mean? We just got to work it out. I got to get back to work. Like I said, I've been working 12 hour days a lot. Um, it's been totally crazy. I will try and do a face video tonight for you guys, but if I don't get it out tonight, hopefully I'll get it done in the next couple of days. I just wanted to say I had a wonderful time. I loved each and every one of you that I got to meet. I'm bummed about not being able to meet some more of you because we just didn't have enough time. But some people were worried because they didn't see me leave. And so they thought maybe something had happened or I was unhappy. And no, I just, I loved every piece of it. I loved every minute. It was the best weekend I think I've ever had in my entire life. I, I couldn't have asked for more. And I love each and every one of you. Keep committing those random acts of kindness, you guys. They matter now more than they ever did. They really, really do. And so many people are just becoming aware of these energy changes. So don't be surprised if you have people that you wouldn't normally suspect say some stuff to you about, you know, some energy stuff. And you're like, wow, I didn't see that coming from you, right? So just be, you know, just be ready. Be ready to field some questions because if they see you or the calm in the storm, uh, you know, people are going to start asking you questions, especially if they see you shining out in the sunlight like this, you right? So I love each and every one of you. I'll catch you guys on the rebound and I will talk to you all soon. Love you guys.